Hello and welcome to the 46th video in this series uh, for beginners programming in C. So it's been a while since I've done a video because in October I had a lot on with work and not much free time and I think I last left off looking at singly linked lists. Well I'm going to leave the topic of linked lists now even though I think at the end of the last video I said I would look at doubly linked lists and move on to something else just to add in a bit of, area, a bit of variety. And what I want to do is I want to look at in the next couple of videos reading in data from files and I've got here in a file called ch46.c just a very skeleton program which you should be very familiar with now I've got two files in the same directory one is a text.txt so a text file and in it is this text I've also got a text.dat file and the reason for that will become clear shortly because I want to talk a little bit about file extensions so how do we go about opening uh, a file well, the way we do it is we use a function that's included inside the stdio.h called uh, fopen. And it's actually very, very simple. All we need to do is we need to define, first of all, a pointer to a file. And we do that by using capital letters and we use something called a file. Now, file is actually a structure which, if you go and open your stdio.h, you'll see the uh, definition of this structure, and I won't go into it in this video as so it's completely unnecessary, but suffice to say this is a structure which can contain the information of a file, and what we want to do is we want to make a pointer to file, like this. So we create our pointer here to the files. This is going to point at an area of memory where our file resides, and our file structure, defined by file here, will contain the information from that file. But think of this simply as a pointer to the file, and don't worry um, about the uh, the way this structure is, is declared. Like I said, if you want to have a look at it, you can have a look at it inside the stdio.h. So now we've set our file, we've got our file pointer, we need simply to tell it where we want it to point. And we use the fopen function here. And all we need to do is inside double speech marks is supply the file name that we want to read. And then we supply uh, an, what's it called, a parameter on the end of here, in which case we're going to call the parameter R, which will tell us that we want to read the contents of this file. Now you can go to c++.com and have a look at fopen in the reference, if you like, to actually have a look at all the parameters available. But basically the most simple ones are R for read, W for write, and A for append to existing. And there are three others as well, R plus W plus and A plus, but a bit more complicated, and I'm not going to discuss this probably in this series because I've only ever personally used the RW and A. So what we're saying here is, please open this file, text.text, .text, which, because there's no directory specified here, is assumed to be in the same directory as our executable, and specify that we're going to want to read the contents of the file and we'll be using this pointer to go through the contents of this file. So now that remains to do is actually just to loop through the contents. So I'm going to make first of all an integer called line which will count the number of lines that we've read in and now we'll set up a while loop which is going to work very similar as to how we actually got the user input. So what we're going to do is and before we do anything we're getting input, we of course need to define an array for our input. So I'll just make car input and let's make it massive, 512 characters, per, up to 512 characters per line it'll read, which is obviously more than enough. And then we'll just use our f gets as we've used in the past. And this time we're putting into our input, we're reading in 512 characters. And this time, because we're, when we're reading not from the, the stream that's coming in from the console that we type, which puts a new line on the end. This won't do any of, uh, when we're reading it from the file, this won't happen, this appending of a new line by the program, as you saw with the input. It'll uh, just read the number of characters in purely as they are. So we'll specify the, four, five, the full 512, and then we want simply to say that the stream reading font is no longer std in, but now it's the pointer to our file. So this will now read then, line by line, the input from our, that our pointer will read. So another way to think of this pointer is really is uh, reading into a, a stream like with the standard input when we were getting user input and each line in the stream is defined by pressing the 
enter key. So the first thing to do here is then just to increment the line so we know how many lines we've read in. And then all we'll do is simply is we'll just print what we've actually read in. So I'll have line and then let's make a little sort of arrow like this and then an S like this. And then we'll print out our line and then we want to print out what input has been read into our character array. And that's all there is to it. We don't need to append a new line on here because the new lines already exist inside our text data here. On the end of these two lines here there is new, no new line on the end of this one here though so so that things look a little bit neater when we finish we'll just come out the bottom here and just put that new line in now put another new line in oops and then just say end program so that we know that we've ended and the last thing we need to do, which is critical, and you always need to remember in your programs, is we need to actually uh, tell the program that we no longer need to this pointer to access the information inside this file. So we want to, we need to actually close effectively close the file or take uh, reset the pointer so it's not pointing to anything. So we'll just do uh, to do that. We just call a function called fclose, and then we take out the to file in this way. And that's all we need to do. So again, to recap, what's happened in this program is we've got a set of our pointer to point to our file. We've called fopen to open the file to give this pointer access and told it that we want to read. We've then set up our character array to read in our line. And then exactly the same way that we read our standard inputs when the user's entering lines of information and pressing enter for fgets, we read in the lines of the file using F gets, except this time the string is no longer the stdin, it's our file pointer. Then we'll just print the line we've read into the screen, say the program's ended, and crucially, close the file. You should never leave the file open. So if I just bring the terminal across now, over here, and let's have a look at compiling this program. And I've missed off a bracket, have I? Yes, whoops. Sorry about that. You can tell I'm a little bit out of practice with the videos after such a long break. I just compile again. Okay, now run the program. And now you can see that it's read in the lines of text. So, hello, this is some text saved in a .txt file. End of program. So all's working okay, we're reading in information. So you might be wondering why I've got the dot .dat. Well, the reason is I've also got some text inside here saved in a dot .dat file. And let us now look what happens when I change this to the dot dat and we say that we want to read in using fgets characters from the information inside this file. So I just call the compile command again and just run the program again. And now you can see it's read the text in exactly as for, even before, even though the extension of the file was a dot dat. But this should tell you a few things. And the thing is, is the extension of the file in most cases is pretty much irrelevant. It could have been a dot bin, a dot elf. It doesn't really matter what it is. The fact is, we're telling the compiler that we're going to be reading characters using fgets from the information. So the compiler quite rightly, compiler quite rightly assumes, okay, it's text I'm reading in into characters, and then I'll print out these characters here. The fact is, is if you made a file named dot dat, it would be fairly misleading to someone else who is maybe using the files associated with your program, because usually you have data stored in a dot dat or something like this. But the point I wanted to bring across is. You see lots of extensions for files inside uh, that come with programs, but more often than not, they contain text, particularly with settings and things. It's just the extension is named something completely different. So for example, in the chess program, people might say for opening book .obk, and if you open it with a text reader, you'll find that you can read all the lines in there. They're just moves and lines. So that's why I put the .dat and the .text then into this video. So in the next video then, we'll have a look at actually writing and appending uh, data to our text file. So I hope this video made some sense and was fairly clear. I'm sorry if it was a little bit ring rusty, but I haven't done a video for a while. And see you in the next one. Thanks very much.